Do you want to run Windows 11 on your old or unsupported PC, but Microsoft says your hardware isn't compatible? No problem. Today, I'll show you a complete step-by-step -step method to upgrade from Windows 10 to Windows 11 for free without losing your files, apps, or settings. So let's get started. Right now, I'm on Windows 10. The first thing we need to do is check if this PC supports Windows 11. For that, open the PC Health Check app and click on Check Now. As you can see, it shows that my PC doesn't meet the requirements. You might see errors like TPM not available, secure boot disabled or unsupported CPU. Don't worry about these errors because we'll bypass all of them very easily. The next step is to download the Windows 11 ISO file. Open your browser and search for Windows 11 ISO download. Click on the official Microsoft website. Scroll down the page and choose Windows 11 Multi-Edition ISO. Click Confirm. Then you'll be asked to select the product language. It's very important to select the same language as your current Windows 10 installation. To find your current language, open PowerShell as administrator. Then type the command get win system local. Press enter and it will show your system's product language. Once you know it, go back to the Microsoft page and select the same language. Finally, click the 64-bit download. The file size is around 7.2 GB, so it might take some time to finish downloading. While the ISO is downloading, open a new tab in your browser and search for Flyoop GitHub. This is the free tool we'll use to bypass all Windows 11 checks. Check on the first link to GitHub. Click the latest release. Download FlyOB version 1.24 Once it's downloaded, open your downloads folder. Right-click the zip file and click Extract All. Inside the folder, you'll find the FlyOB application. Right-click on it, choose Run as Administrator. Then click on More Info and run anyway. The FlyOB dashboard will now open. Click the upgrade option from the left panel. Now it's time to load the Windows 11 ISO into FlyOB. The program will mount the ISO and launch the Windows setup. Once the Windows setup opens, you can close the FlyOB application windows. Don't worry if you see the words Windows Server in the setup window. That's just the trick the tool uses, but it will actually download Windows 11 normally. Choose Not Right Now and then click Next. Accept the license agreement. Now comes the most important part. Make sure to select Keep Files, Settings and Apps. This ensures that none of your data or installed applications will be deleted. Click Install. The installation process will begin and it may take anywhere from 30 to 40 minutes depending on the speed of your PC. Once your PC restarts, you will be greeted with Windows 11 running smoothly on your unsupported hardware. As you can see, all my files, applications and folders are still here. Nothing has been deleted. So yes, you can upgrade to Windows 11 on any PC completely free and without any data loss. However, please remember, this method works only if your processor supports the SSE 4.2 instruction set. Most CPUs released after 2009 already have it, so for the majority of users, it will work fine. 
But if you have a very old processor, such as early Intel Core 2 Duo or older AMD CPUs without SSE 4.2, then unfortunately, Windows 11 will not run at all. Even if you bypass TPM, Secure Boot and CPU model checks, the installer will crash because the hardware is missing this instruction set. TPM, Secure Boot and CPU model checks are just software restrictions added by Microsoft and we can bypass them easily using tools like FlyOB, Rufus, etc. But SSE 4.2 is built into the processor itself. Windows 11 actually depends on it to run the kernel level. If your CPU doesn't have it, Windows 11 simply won't boot and there is no bypass tool that can fix this. In that case, your best option is to continue using Windows 10 or switch to Linux distribution if you want something more modern. Now, before we end, I want to give you one more tip. If you try Windows 11 and feel it's not for you, or if you run into issues, you can always go back to Windows 10. To do that, open Settings. Go to System. Then Recovery. Under Recovery Options, you'll see the option Go Back to Windows 10. This option is available for 10 days after upgrading. Just click on it, follow the prompts, and your PC will be restored back to Windows 10 with all your previous files and apps. If it has been more than 10 days, then you'll need to reinstall Windows 10 manually using bootable USB. So that's how you upgrade Windows 11 on unsupported PCs. If this tutorial helped you, make sure to like the video, share it with your friends, and subscribe to TechEdroid for more tech guides and tutorials. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.